I really want to be in a positive place about where all this is going. I'm such an optimistic person by nature, but there's something about watching that breakdown that you did of the last 500 years. I think I told you this when we were doing the pre-call. I couldn't, I couldn't listen to the book first thing in the morning because it, it was like putting me in this really um, almost stressed out state of like, man, yeah, we're, go ahead. I, uh, but I have a principle. Please. If you worry, you don't have to worry. And if you don't worry, you need to worry. Because if you, the thing that I could give you is this worry about realistic things that you can worry about. That's what I wanna give the people. Uh, that's why I did the video, by the way, the video, you, you, you could skip the whole book. The video is an animated video, 10 million people have watched it in no time. It's something that's very digestible and it carries the picture. Um, if, um, because if you worry, then you'll do something to prevent those worries. If you worry about going to World War II, if you worry about those, and if we could get enough people who believe in these things, then we will have a different choice, right? There'll be less likelihood of us fighting with each other and doing us, doing each other harm and instead doing more good things that'll raise ourselves and raise our living standards because we have the resources to be doing those things. So um, uh, yeah, uh, the, the, the greatest danger for most people is failing to look at um, the things that could be harmful to them because they don't like to look at them. It's like some people would rather not know that they have a serious disease or something. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Look at it, deal with it. And then um, you're most likely to be able to deal with it effectively and minimize problems or take advantage of opportunities. There's a lot of potential here for us to do amazing things, technologies, the ability to think. I mean, we've seen uh, amazingly wonderful things, the capacity for, you know, have a pandemic and we come up with vaccines the capacity to get around the uh, fact that we can't get out of our houses. Um, all of that uh, could all raise living standards if we could all work well together. Yeah, at the end of the book, you said something that was really interesting along these lines of, you know, I, I build my portfolios from, I look at the absolute worst case scenario, the thing that just is, is I can't let that happen under any circumstance. And so... I address that. And so if you said, I even have an end of the world portfolio strategy and that you allocate resources to these different buckets to make sure, well, if the world completely you know, collapsed and I don't know what you deem the end of the world, but that's a pretty bold title, um, but that you look at those things. You said, you know, people assume that when I look at those that it actually makes me pessimistic, but in fact, the exact opposite is true. It's liberating to know that I have thought through those scenarios, I have taken action. And I will say that's another thing. People may look, but if they don't do anything, like I really wanted to get you back on the show because when I read your book, I was like, Ray, this is, I think, I was actually nervous coming into this interview. I'm like, this may be the most consequential interview I've ever done because if people take away from this, that we're really at a tipping point moment and that the way that we all act in these you know, coming months and years could determine the world order, whether we uh, maintain stability or whether we go into a period of such tumultuous chaos that the loss of life is just unimaginable. And by looking at that and saying, okay, that's real. And now what do we do about it? It's a real possibility. 20 years ago, I would never have bought into it. I'd be like, oh, he's an alarmist. But it really feels real to me now. And so I, I can't encourage people to skip the book because I think the book has a lot of additional information. The video is phenomenal. It's probably the right place to start. But then to read the book and to get that information to really grow to understand exactly how these loops repeat will give you an understanding of what we need to do to forestall that. And the things are simple, but they are very difficult to do. So our goal is to be healthy and strong. So spend less than you make, um, make sure that you are presenting yourself well on the world stage, and 
getting along well with each other. But that means we have to race back to the middle. And that was like, I had this sense of like, what I always told people was fill your heart with love. Whenever you're going into it, and it feels stupid, feels dumb when I say it. But when I think about somebody that I disagree with or whatever, that it's the dialectic approach of, I need to learn from this friction rather than trying to convince them. I need to learn from their friction. I need to have respect for them as a human. So I need to want to come to a place where we can compromise and them not try to, you know, drag me over to their side, me not try to drag them over to my side. Or again, I try not to have a side, but just like what works? What are the metrics? Look at the metrics. Is this actually working? If it's not, adjust. If it is, pour gas on it, right? So, but figuring that out, coming back to the middle and actually taking action on the stuff that you lay out. It's incredible. I think that um, you've done the world a tremendous service by taking these however many years you're going to do it and giving us all these incredible books and talks and videos that outline all the things that you've learned. So one, just thank you. And then two, where can people engage with this, with all the material that you're putting together? Um, <clears throat> well, so first, um, you're welcome. Um, and I want to emphasize that what I did in the book was to describe like maybe what we could collectively do, but also what individuals can do if we don't collectively do the right thing, because either can happen. And that's why, in a sense, quote, like what I call the end of the world portfolio is to know um, that if this, no matter what happened, if there was a civil war or there was anywhere or whatever, um, that I have my protection in a certain amount and I've taken that off the table. And then once that's off the table, ah, there's relief. There's a lot less worry. And then you could be more aggressive doing the things that you'd ordinarily do with the other part of the portfolio, even thinking that way creates great relief. It's like having an insurance policy and, and, and so on. So, um, but the, uh, I think the actions that you described um, to get informed one, one way or another, um, the book is the best because it's most uh, complete and it brings you through it. Um, but the video is, is really easily digestible. Um, as I say, 10 million people in six weeks, and you know it's grown. It's 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 a hot video. Many people um, vi uh, see the video and then they go to the book. Whatever way that I can pass it along, and and yes, it's it's my pleasure. I'm at I'm 72 years old, and I'm in a phase of my life where the main thing I want to do is to pass along what I have that's going to help others, uh, particularly beyond me. So uh, I, let me thank you for. Uh, being a partner and being able to pass this along to your listeners. Anytime, Ray, anytime, every time has been an extraordinary gift. So I thank you very grateful for what you're doing to help us get back to the middle and, and do things well, be healthy and strong. I appreciate it. All right, everybody, please go watch the video. It's absolutely incredible. Just type in Ray Dalio, Changing World Order. It will pop up on YouTube. It's incredible. It's about 44 minutes. It is unbelievable. The book is even more incredible. So if you like the video, definitely go get the book. It's extraordinary. And then also you're updating things at um, economicprinciples.org, if I'm not mistaken. That's right. So check that out as well. It's all extraordinary. Um, yeah, I cannot recommend Ray highly enough. And speaking of things that I can't recommend highly enough, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe. And until next time, my friends, be legendary. Take care. Peace. If you like that clip, check out another powerful clip right here. And I'll see you there.